welcome to this special video. Today's video is all about family and friends and Thanksgiving. Red or blue? He's like, red's not a fall color. I love red, but I love yellow too. Yeah, like red is a fall color. It's red, yeah. orange, yellow, and black. Yeah. Black, brown. All right, well, put them down, sister. I love that color of yellow. It's my favorite. So before today's video starts, I just wanted to share a special message that is close to my heart. I wanted to explain it to you guys um, something that is important to me about family. So long ago when I was a young mom and I had three young boys, I had such different morals and such different ideas about how our family would look. And I have spent a lot of time cleaning our house and having everything perfect. and. You can ask Sam, like there were so many hours I spent cleaning and making sure everything was looked good. And in the end, what I discovered is that all the time that I spent cleaning and making sure that everything looked good was time wasted and time taken away from my family. And the reason I learned that was because my family grew up so fast. I have three sons and they grew up and have their own family and it just happened so fast. And so now when I had the girls, I changed my priorities and I spend more time with them. We spend more time in the bar and we spend more time with our horses because we're together. So anyway, I just wanted to take a minute to share with you guys how priorities come and go, but family stays the same forever. And if there's any time that you're gonna take to spend with family and make that time count that you have with them, it is on a holiday, and especially like Christmas and like today. Today is our Thanksgiving. L looking back on my life with my boys, I wish I cleaned less and played more, and that's why our house is often a mess. <laughs> But I've been cleaning for a week now, trying to get things situated so that we can have our family over. There's always a time and a place for cleaning, and Molly wants out, or Ruby wants her Daisy. Daisy wants out. Out. She always wants There's out. always a time and a place for cleaning, and, but I just want to tell you guys, don't sweat the small stuff. Don't sweat the stuff that doesn't matter. Just focus on the things that do matter, and what matters always is relationships and people and family. Right. And after my mom cleaned the house, Daisy brought her off. And yeah, I opened the door. Why is this camera acting so crazy? I opened the door. She ran out and came back with a rock. But anyways, it's true. I've been cleaning all day. We've been getting things all situated, yes. all ready for Thanksgiving. Before everybody gets here, I wanted to show you guys the centerpiece of her table sophie designed it and she made it so it's kind of like a cachuterie board a tiny little one she did it on this little rotating lazy susan so that uh it wouldn't take up too much room in our in our house but i love it i think she did such a good job just enough candy to offer people something to snack on but not ruin their dinner i just think she did such a great job and no matter how many times I pick up these dog toys, they continually get taken out of the bucket. Even Miss Trixie is excited for Thanksgiving. I'll show you her meal. She's already eaten most of her crickets for this morning. But this is her salad. She has apples and grapes and celery and a salad in there. That's her breakfast and her lunch and her supper. That's your Thanksgiving meal, Miss Trixie. She's like, yeah, that's what I love. She loves her salad. So I found this little selfie stick and I'm going to try and use it today to get a really nice picture of all of us on the wagon ride. What I was saying earlier about having to clean special for when guests come over, when you have a farm, it usually means that there's more work because you have to clean the barn too. We are fixing up our, yeah, I thought like when we take pictures, we could use the wheelbarrow as a nice cro a prop and like put one kid in it. And we brought these little benches down. We're gonna put our flowers on them. So now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the corn stalks. But so, uh, that's our little picture area. I have a really nice camera. I'm gonna bring it, dust it off, bring it out. Yeah, go over into the cornfield over there and grab some stalks, Sammy boy. I like it. What do you guys think? This is it. We've got our big pumpkins. What's in the way? The one pumpkin up there. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to move that pumpkin. Put the pumpkin in the wheelbarrow. I like it. I love the green door in the background. That's it. That's our photo op spot. I love it. I love all the colors. Sam just reminded me that we have a few decorations in the basement that we can that we can add, and I'm excited to do that too. So when we just brought the horses in, I uh, grabbed Penny in the field, and we were just standing there waiting for the other girl. She uh, she didn't know what like we were waiting, and she didn't. She was like, "Why are we standing here waiting?" But she sees me, you guys, and. I know that you can be tough with horses and make them listen. Almost fell out. Already? My hair sprayed them so much too. Yeah, that's weird. My hair does not stay curled. It's straight and it stays straight. Yeah, that's insane. And my hair, I like Gabby was gonna get up early to curl. You better go back and curl your hair again. I'm not gonna curl it again. It has hairspray in it. It's gonna burn it all off. I curl mine with hairspray. Yeah, no. Anyway. That's why half of your hair is missing. No, I, it all grew back. It was from hair dye. It was from hair dye. But anyways. I doubt that. I think it was from curling your hair. <laughs> no, it wasn't. But anyways, what I was saying was that I know there's a, a different way. I know there is a stronger way, a tougher way to make sure your horse listens to you and respects you. But I honestly believe that there's another way. And I don't know it perfectly yet, but I'm learning it little tiny bit by little tiny bit. Where? Wow. There we go. Yeah. All right. So anyways, what I was trying to say was that Penny sees me and some people think it's just the treats. She only sees you because you give her so many treats, but there are lots of times when I don't have treats. I don't have treats more than I have treats. I have treats a lot when I'm filming though. She does see me, you guys. Like when we were out in the field, she, and she talks to me. She has stared in my eyes, stared in my eyes to gauge my emotions, to figure out what was happening. And she hears me and she sees me and she doesn't fully respect me sometimes, especially when I am filming because I'm preoccupied in using the camera. But she does love me. She does absolutely 100% love me. And her just staring in my eyes like that for a long time, she didn't just stare in my eyes, she was looking into my eyes. She was looking and searching into my eyes and trying to figure out what, what we were doing. And she was saying, I love you. I, I felt it in the bottom of my heart, I felt it. She, that horse loves me, she does. She believes in me the way that I believe in her. And I can't wait to keep moving with our journey. But anyway, let's go back to Thanksgiving. Just in, if you don't like it, just, just, everybody gets on the wagon and the tire's flat. Sam has to fill it. <laughs> First Thanksgiving wagon ride. I got Jack here. Jack, is it scary? Yeah. Yeah. Jack was not coming on. Banana has magic tricks. She has candy. Did you want to give this to your other friend? Landon. Landon, we got treats for you. Come here. Hold on. Jack, okay. I'll give you something. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. No, Jack has some. So listen, you know what we decided? Jack and I figured out if we're really lucky, we might see horses. Do you think we'll see horses? We might. We might. Let's see if we see horses. We see a dog. Oh. Hey, look. Do you see any horses? <gasps> Oh no, there's no horses at Nana's. There is only. No horses in there. No horses at Nana's. Where uh, are they? Cars. You saw one? Uh, you did not see one. Did you see one? They're in the barn. Oh. You see some too? Did you see any horses, Jack? Yeah. You did? I think you're tricking me. All right, we're going for a trail ride or for a wagon ride. You like it, Jack? Yeah. Yeah. You like it? You see the doggies running? Yeah, I see the doggies running. You see the doggies running? Yeah. They like the trail ride. Uh-oh, we gotta go pick up Jacob. Uh-oh, Jacob just arrived in Brooklyn. All right, did anybody see horses? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, all three. All three? So we added we added uh, Jacob and we added Stacy and we added Brooklyn. Where are you, Brooklyn? I'm here. Yeah, Brooklyn's here too. We added all these people. Look at how many people our trailer, our hay wagon can 
cold. I'm gonna take some pictures. Look at all the people. Woo! <laughs> I don't think Jack's afraid anymore. All right, tell Jacob, did we see horses? Yeah. You guys, all the horses came out for Brooklyn and Jacob. All right, we added another partner. We added an, uh oh, Ruby stay. She was running in front of the tractor. I know, she was tired. I could tell she was tired. All the little kids made their, we went to look inside the trailer and all the little kids came and were looking in the, are you gonna get the eggs, Jacob? We're looking in the chicken coop. Stand there, Jacob will hand you eggs. What color are chicken eggs? What color? What color are chicken eggs? Do you have any more Brooklyn and blue? Yeah. We got tan and blue. Yep. Look. Show show the boys what colored eggs our chickens lay. Look at what colors they lay. Isn't that cool? Oh, don't crack them. Don't. Crack them. Oh no. You want to see them? Jack, you want to see the chicken? No. <laughs> yeah. She won't pack. She doesn't pack. We just have to be really gentle with her and then she'll be gentle with us. You want to touch it? When my live turns off, Jack doesn't like Jack. Never. Jack's like, what is this place? Isn't she cute though? I like this Yeah, that, so we have a white one and a gray one that look like that. They're supposed to be giant sized. They're babies still. What? Shut up. Uh, we're gonna keep them this year. We're gonna try and keep them this year because this is my dream chicken. They're ginormous usually like they're huge and they're like friendly people use them as like dogs They're like really friendly and then one of our other ones lays giant eggs and one of our other one lays blue eggs Like it's hard to find ones that lay blue eggs So we're gonna try and keep them No, don't hold her because she's got dirty feet One person's always got to do all the work <laughs> I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like You're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you, wanna see you smile Where's the happy girl that I know with the heart on? Sophie made. Isn't it so cute? And it spins around. Do you like it? Just spin it gently. Isn't it cool? What are these? Uh, gum. Do you like it? Jacob's like, oh, look at Jacob. Look at those things. What is that? Your presents? Okay, so we're gonna give Jacob his birthday presents and there's boring presents and fun presents. Oh, Nana should have got you a present too. Do you like it? Yeah. Oh, what a nice guy. Army clothes. Army pants and an army shirt. What do you say? Thank you. Oh, buddy. What is that? Oh! You like it? Yeah. See, you yeah. thought it was Lego. Oh! What is that? What is it, Jacob? It's Lego. 
Aria's never seen the horses before. Everybody's standing afar. They're like, look at the horse, look at the horses come out. They're like, wow, look at the people. Jack is dragging me. We went on another wagon ride. And then now we're gonna, Jack wanted to stop at the barn to see the horses, so we are. She's very shy of strangers. Uh, Landon, you should come back here just, uh, <laughs> No, they're they're good, but they get jealous. Look, she likes you, Dylan. There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. We are all about the good, the good vibes. We are all about the good, the good times. Dance until it feels alright. All night. We're all about the Sorrows let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink, just relax. All your problems will fade if you're ready for a good time. Count on me. There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. Let's have a drink, just relax. All your Getting a supper, we're just getting supper all together, and the kids have been here eating chocolate and putting together Lego. I saved a little Lego set, and, and all stuff cousins, Jacob. cousins are all putting it together. Kids all eating the chocolate. Every single holiday, we fill up a cooler with ice. You can't even see the ice; it's melted. It's 70 degrees here today. We put a lot of water. All the water's on the bottom, and we put juice and pop so that people can have whatever they want and they can get it like themselves. Self-serve. Uh, this is the kids Daddy, table. Thank you. Brooklyn, you're the only girl at the, at the kids table. We're gonna go around and we're gonna ask everybody what they're thankful for. What are you thankful for? Okay, we'll start with you. Uh, they all got their mouth full. You're thankful for your house? What are you thankful for? My teachers. Your teachers? God. God? Oh, you're thankful for Nana? Oh, here, you get your bird. Get up here. What are you thankful for, Jack? Tweets. Meat. Meat. <laughs> See Nana's pumpkin plates? Nana's pumpkin plates? I love the pumpkin plates. Jack wants this bird. He needs the bird to eat with him. Okay, you leave him there. Let him watch you. You gotta eat, okay? Okay, leave him, leave him in there. Let him eat. stay there while you eat. Gabby, what are you thankful for? Myself. What are you thankful? Come on, you have to say something. That you bought me a dog. That I bought you a dog? You're grateful for your dog? Hey, what are you guys thankful for? for family. Family. Dylan said family. Gary, you thankful for family too or just food? Food. Food. Food and family. Food and family. I'm for my kids. Yeah, kids. Sam, what are you thankful for? When this is over. <laughs> Last one. What are you thankful for, Aria? You thankful for her toys? Yeah, she said yeah. Did you guys see that? She's one. Anyways, I am thankful for a lot of those things too, but I'm also thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for you guys to join us and be a part of our holiday in the drawer where we keep forks. Yeah, there's none there. Oh, we're out of forks. Everybody's still, <laughs> still here. The house is a mess. It's crazy out there, but little Jack, two-year-old Jack, my grandson, he was terrified of the tractor. We couldn't get him on the wagon ride until I got him on the wagon ride. And once he got going on that wagon ride, he got addicted to it. So the girls are outside, they're tacking up the horses. All the little kids wanna go for, for like a horsey ride. And Jack went outside with my other, with my nieces, and he jumped right up on that tractor. He said, I'm not afraid. All right, so uh, Gracie's all tacked up and ready to ride. Oh, you're riding her in English? Yep. You got the... 
Okay, got the handle. She does look good in that halter. Um, so who's riding? Are you riding? I'm riding. You are riding? And you're riding? riding? You're riding? Are you riding? No. You riding? You riding? Are you riding? Is Penny all ready to go? I'm, I'm ready to go. Okay, I'll talk her quick. She pretty horse? Yeah. Are you scared of her, Julie? I can see you shaking in, in those boots. No. She's funny. <laughs> You're out of here? Yeah, she's such a good girl. that I use for kids. So it just goes right over top of here, over top of the horn, and they work so good for kids. And I just told Brooklyn, you can go ahead by yourself. Go ahead, Soph. If she spooks, this is what you need to do. And she goes, oh, I've, I've felt spooks before, Nana. <laughs> is anybody else riding the pony? Do you want Aria to have a turn? She likes who better? This one. Which is weird because she loves racing. I know, but this horse loves her. today's installment of the day by day vlog family and I just wanted to tell you guys whoa, that I enjoy having you guys around with us you make every holiday special you make every day special having you guys with us thank you so much for all of your kind comments in today's video about how I did with Penny that made, means a lot to me got our chocolate trifle Brooklyn you ready for this <laughs> and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy Thanksgiving to all of our Canadian friends. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Jack. Jack missed the trailer. Wait for me, he said. Oh, that's the saddest thing. That's my nephew, Dylan. And all the kids jumped off. Either for the trifle or to help Jack. I don't know what.
I'm surprised he's getting off. That was the saddest thing. Wait for me! And he's got his arms up. Don't you know that you're you got it. Wait, we gotta do that again. Don't you know that you're you Gracie. This is the problem when you let your kids ride on a holiday and you're busy in the kitchen and you come down to the barn after they've packed them up and you find horse hair and also blonde horse hair. See it? All right, Pen. Oops. Back it up. Back it up.